Okay, so your first shoot is complete. You have your footage in hand, but what's next? How do you turn what you shot into a great video? Well, it's all at your fingertips with the power of editing. So pull up a chair, fire up that computer, and let me show you some important steps to turn your idea into reality. Hi everyone, it's Kia and my channel is The Notorious KIA. I've been creating videos on YouTube for over six years and I can't overstate the importance of editing. Here are 12 steps that are the basics you need to know. Remember, you'll develop your own editing style as you practice more, but these are simple tips to help you get started. What's interesting is that editing begins long before the first cut. It starts on the shoot. Step one, multiple takes. You may want to think about doing multiple takes of shots so you have plenty of performance options to choose from. Also, make sure you get all the wide shots you need and any close-ups that you want your audience to focus on. Step two, back up your footage. Once you've completed a successful shoot, back up and transfer your footage immediately. I've heard so many stories of creators leaving their memory cards in cabs or at airports, and sometimes you won't be able to reshoot. So get that footage copied and somewhere safe quickly. Step three, your edit space. Where you edit is very important. Make sure you find somewhere quiet where you can focus. You can even throw on a little music to set the vibe. Step four, organizing your files. Import your footage and organize it into folders like you organize computer files in general. The more preparation you do sorting your footage into the right place, the better. It will save you hours later when you're looking for that one shot you just can't find. Trust me. Step five, watch your footage. Spend time watching every single shot. This helps you familiarize yourself with all your footage. Step six, beginning to edit. Finally, mark the best takes, then lay them into a sequence in order on your timeline. This is called an assembly edit. It means you have all your top content in one place, roughly following the storyline. Step seven, fine cutting. Next, you start cutting the shots down further, removing the beginning and the end of them and creating your story. Consider removing any ums and ahs and any long pauses or boring parts. The goal is to really make your video move in a quick and efficient way. Jump cutting is often used to allow you to truncate time and move forward quickly and efficiently. Here's an example. The weather is really humid in New York, so I put it in a pineapple and I wash my hair weekly. Those are two questions that I get a lot. If you want to do something slightly more advanced, transitions is how you add variety and are an effective way to maintain the pace of the video. These are things like dissolves between shots or fades which give the feeling of time passing. Another fun transition is the wipe, which can come in a lot of different styles. Some programs have automatic transitions as well as many options to customize them exactly the way you want. Step eight, watch over and over, pause and do it again. Watch your video sequence down over and over again. The more times you watch it, the more you'll feel when it gets too slow or where you need to edit something out or if you need to explain moments in more detail. At some point, I always get too close to my work and I need to step away. So I take my dog for a walk or I grab something to eat and I come back later or even the next day for a fresh perspective. Believe me, this always helps. Step nine, building up your edit. Consider adding B-roll in title cards or text callouts. B-roll is supplemental footage or images that support the story. It usually is intercut with whatever your main shot is and is used to show and tell what's going on. And a title card goes at the beginning of your video like this, which like the title of a story helps you set up what your audience is about to see. Text callouts are engaging ways to highlight important facts you want to bring to everyone's attention. They can be a lot of fun like this, and make sure you lay out all your titles on a separate layer to the footage so it's clear to see and easy to make changes. As your video edit shapes up, remember to add time for your in-screen elements like imagery for other related videos you want to promote or to encourage people to subscribe. Step 10, working with sound. This is all about the importance of sound. Sound? Sound? Audience usually don't mind bad lighting, but they can't stand watching a video where they can't hear what's going on. So record your sound well. And music is also very important. It sets the tone for your content. One of the best places to find great music is the YouTube audio library where all the tracks are free to use without issues. Step 11, mixing your sound. You should always try to do some mixing of your sound. This can be daunting, but the best rule of thumb is to make sure you can easily hear your voice at all times. 
So turn the music down so that it supports but doesn't overwhelm the voice, and turn it up when nobody is talking for more drama and excitement. Close your eyes and listen to your entire soundtrack and see if anything is too hard to hear or too loud and make adjustments until it sounds good to you. Step 12, what is color correction? You can make your video look just the way you like it with color correction. You can boost up the saturation to make your colors pop and add contrast so your blacks truly look black. Then you're almost done. Watch everything a few more times to check that the cuts, sound, and images look exactly how you want them, and then you're ready to export. Set the export settings and look to see if your editing software has a specific export for YouTube option. Export your video onto your computer and then upload it to YouTube. I suggest you upload as unlisted first. This gives you time to write your title, description, and tags. Then when you're ready, flip your video to public for the world to see. I hope this video has helped you get started. Remember, editing is where a lot of the magic happens, so find a process that works for you. Check out the Creator Academy course for more information and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube Creators channel for a new video every week. So till next time, peace.